back here on the John Fourcade Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford. It's our spotlight feature. We take a look at two of the guys in the state of Louisiana or players that are playing against teams in the state of Louisiana. And a guy that grew up right down the road from me is our first player spotlight, Elijah McGuire, running back, kick return specialist, went to Vanderbilt Catholic out in Homa. Now he's at UL Lafayette. John, uh, man, lived all my life on the Baya, and um, there's been four or five guys that have filtered the field high school-wise. Elijah McGuire is one of them, and he's doing it the exact same way at UL Lafayette, and he's averaging 7.7 .7 yards a carry into early part of his junior season. He scored 27 rushing touchdowns so far. He's Louisiana's version of Reggie Bush. There you go. He, the fact that this young man plays on a team that spreads the football around, and uh, he's the go-to guy, UL Lafayette, likes to uh, spread it around, run that little run and shoot, kind of a spread offense. Uh, he's played very well for them over the years. Seven yards of carry is amazing for a young man. Uh, you know, granted, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's in a level of competition it's, that's where he's suited at. Uh, and he's done very well, and you can see this young man in two years, maybe playing on the NFL days on a Sunday. He's got that ability, like you said, the Reggie Bush type thing. He's maybe a little bigger than Reggie Bush, thicker than Reggie Bush, but uh, he brings a lot to that team. You talk about UL Lafayette, you got to talk about him because he's the go-to guy. The other thing too is he was a former high school quarterback. He catches the ball so well coming out the backfield. They're letting him return kicks. Uh, he's a guy that you can see has a niche in the NFL. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, ain't no doubt. As, you know, if you got a big back, he, he's the smaller guy. Right. He's the quick guy. Great vision. I think that's the one thing that stood out always to me. He was never how big he is today. Now, he's put on some weight since he's went to UL Lafayette and become a much stronger runner. But, man, he's carrying that raging Cajun offense. And he's a guy that he's scary. And once he gets started, he's a guy that when you see those carries start to get 15, 18, he's going to break a long run on you. On the defensive side of the football, one young man that I think is a superstar in the making at LSU, and that's Davin Godshaw, defensive tackle at LSU, 6'3 and a half, 295, uh, south of Moore, already making an impact, nine tackles, three quarterback sacks. I know one thing, he's coached by a guy that I know pretty well <laughs> in Babe Ogeron, who's had 12 first round pick defensive linemen he's coached throughout his college career. And I think you're looking at 13 with Davin Gotcha. Well, the thing about it, when the season began, nobody could sit there and say, well, who's going to be starting and playing and doing well for LSU on the front side of the football on that defensive line? I couldn't pick a guy. I couldn't tell you who's going to be the guy because last year when the season ended, you didn't know what you were going to get on the, on the defensive side of the football because they struggled big time last year. Now you got these guys coming in, and they are getting some pressure. They're playing very well up front. Maybe it's the coaching. Maybe it is Ogeron's coaching, but they got some quality players up front there. And, 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 and gosh, I was just one of many players that they have at LSU right now. And, and, and he's only a sophomore. And just can't wait to see what happens when he's down the road and in the NFL. Yeah, the one thing with him was um, as a senior in high school, he got hurt in the first game. So, you know, when LSU signed everybody, you would have put him way down the list uh -huh. of guys that would have played as a freshman. And he came in and, and did a solid job as a freshman. When you look at his talent, and they've had some good defensive tackles throughout the years, and a Michael Brockers and a Benny Logan. Mm -hmm. When I look at Davin Gotcha, I think he is maybe the most physically gifted interior player they've had since Glenn Darcy. I think he's that good of a player. And so you're talking about a guy that can tilt the field. I know against Auburn, they tried to block him with one guy for the first series, and after that, that was it. It was double team the rest of the way, and he was just blowing up that inside, and he had Johnson on the roll, so to speak, the entire football game. And along with Christian Lockator, I think, and Kendall Beckwith, that little triangle right up the middle, and Jamal Adams at strong safety, that's the real strength of LSU's defense. Well, that's this shutdown running defense right there. Those four guys you name are responsible for taking care because Beckworth is not going to be chasing tight ends and running backs. That has proven in the past. He just can't handle it. He's in an inside linebacking core who can help out with the two guys up front. But the big thing, Mike, I like the fact is they're not 300-something pound guys up front there. You know, Lacatour and those guys up front are, are 290, 280 in that range. When they start getting over the 300 pounds, things don't do very well for me. I think Ogeron makes sure, hey, I want them under 300 pounds because he wants the quickness. And that's what brings these guys to the forefront because they are so quick, hard to block them. 
one of the things is, and I won't name the guy, but he was one of the LSU defensive linemen. He said, I, I know you know Coach O. He said, what's the worst thing he hates to see? I said, a three when you get on the scale and not <laughs> at the back end, on the front end. And so, I mean, they knew right off the bat. He likes a thinner lineman, right. a guy that you said quickness, that eight men, constant rotation along the defensive line. And, John, the good news for LSU is the fact that one of their top players from a year ago or last couple of years, Jalen Mills, is now healthy and he should be back in the next couple of weeks. So you're talking about this LSU defense, which has really played well and been underrated the first couple of weeks because of Fournette. Now all of a sudden they're going to get back one of their star players in Jalen Mills at safety. Well, there's no doubt about it, Mike. When you get everybody back on your defensive side of football, this is one of the top defenses in the league. The only difference is who's coaching them. Steele versus last year when you had the uh, Shavis. Shavis coaching there, and that was at A&M. If these guys could keep playing and getting better each week, Mike, this is going to be a tough defense. It's all about the quarterback situation at LSU right now. They got the running game. They got the defense. It's all about who can quarterback that team. When I look at the safety position, Ricky Jefferson filled in so well for Jalen Mills. And when Jalen comes back, and along with Jamal, with Ricky and Jalen and Jamal, that's the three best safeties as a threesome in college football today on one football team. We'll be back with more of the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford. We'll be right back.